I really like short hair, Vera likes long hair, even though it's always getting tangled. We were born identical twins, so we look a, a lot alike, but the ways like in our personality and our likes, we are the same. We both love animals. Quack. Quack. We both love cats and dogs. Meow. Meow. Wolf. Wolf. If you love the mashed potatoes, I'm afraid to touch them. Both of our favorite foods evolves around sushi, pasta, or chicken skin. If she can eat leftovers, I'm afraid to touch leftovers again. I dislike salami, but Ingrid loves salami. I've been taller, than, taller and bigger than her since birth. My mom says my nose is more button, like short than Ingrid's. Ingrid's kind of more pointy. Mine's kind of flat. My nose is a little bigger than Vera, and I think my eyes are a little bit grayer than Vera. My eyes are wider. Ingrid's has more of a squinch. My hands are bigger than hers. My toes are longer than hers, like my toe. Like my tiny toe is almost bigger than my middle toe. Cause I'm fitting, already fitting in women's seven or something like that. Well, Vera, she can't even fit into the women's size yet. And Ingrid's toes are perfect. People tell me that I'm different, like I'm a different kind of kind and Ingrid's a different kind of kind. Like I'm a different kind of nice and Ingrid's a different kind of nice. At school, I'm known from being really, I'm known in my class for being really nice. She's really sensitive, and I wish I was more senti sensitive. I'm really sensitive. She's not that sen She is sometimes really sensitive at school. Because she gets upset over little things, and I am jealous that she's sensitive. I want to be more sensitive. I usually get really mad and I and I and I yell at her a little bit but I don't but I don't really mean to yell at her and I don't and I don't do that often when I'm mad at her. I just kind of storm off whenever she says something that insults me or makes me sad or she reads my diary. I usually just uh, go into a different room than her and close the door and read a book. She's read my diary several times. Well, in kindergarten, I didn't have any friends. Well, well, I, well, I'd see Rita, and she had, and she had, uh, she had lots of friends, there. and I just felt kind of jealous that, that none of the kid, that I wasn't really, uh, that Vera had so many friends. Well, nobody uh, ever offered me to play, play recess or anything like that. I kind of always wanted to learn how to do like baseball. But sometimes your dreams don't come true. It's a sad thing. They say you can be whatever you want when you grow up, but I will not become a bird that has a cat head when I grow up. Kids in her class are all always complimenting her for her art, and I just think she's a better artist than me in general because she draws realistic people. Moo. Moo. Sometimes um, Ingrid just turns at me when I've tried to talk to her through my head. I'm like, in my head, I'm yelling, Ingrid. They say that twins can feel whatever other twins are feeling. The mind reading thing, none of that things are true, none of them. It's just like, and then she turns her head at me, and then she just is like, hmm? And I'm like, it worked. It worked. It finally worked. I'm Vera. I'm Ingrid. And, and I'm, I'm eight. eight.